Oh, the Magic of Transitions. This is Composer Pop Part 4, where we talk about songs that utilize aspects of the classical tradition and pop music. In my last video, I talked about what I called the large ABA form, songs like Bohemian Rhapsody that have that large middle section that's flanked by the two original sections, and it's almost like a totally different song. I asked for suggestions of other songs that do this, and of course I forgot about this obvious one. And then also, this is a perfect example, even though it's slightly different as the commenter pointed out. And then I was also talking about my song that does that called Talking Tears. Now at some point, I wanna do a whole video on transitions, especially in these three examples, because they're amazing. Listen to the Queen song, how they use guitar solos and vocals to transition between the sections. Of course, the Beatles use the iconic orchestral buildup where George Martin didn't actually write specific notes, but just told them to all play ascending lines until they got to the right moment and hit a note in an e-triad. And then the Billy Joel song also uses solos and even sudden tempo transitions to kind of make those changes happen. Now in Talking Tears, I have a faster beginning section and the tempo is about 160. Clouds gather the thunder and then in the middle section, the tempo is 120. Feel like I can do it, but I can seem to prove it. And I wanted to have a bit of a smooth change between them instead of a sudden change. Sudden changes can be great too, but I just didn't want that here. So with 160 in the original speed, and then now we're going to 120 over here, that means that there are four beats in the same amount of time that there will be three beats in the new tempo. So it's kind of like this. Now I could have just put those tempos against each other and then gone into the new tempo, but I thought it might sound kind of proggy and that's awesome. I'm a big prog fan, but it's not what I was going for here. I wanted something a little more poppy and subtle. So what I did instead was at first maybe counterintuitive. I had a guitar line that played triplets against this, ta 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 like that. So for every two beats here, there were three notes in the guitar line, which I think sounded a little more natural, but that seems counterintuitive because now we're going faster. This guitar line is now going to be going 240, whereas this was going 160. But guess what? Then after that guitar line played for a while, then I just start playing every other note and boom, we're in 120 because that's half of 240. And then you start playing quarter notes and boom, you're in the new jaunty tempo. Sometimes I feel my race is run. So what do you think? Do you have any examples of cool transitions in other songs? Or maybe you want to listen to one of these three that were mentioned and point out something you really like about the transitions. Because I can tell you that probably a lot more time was spent on those transitions than on the actual melodies of the songs.